when it's called, you should be able to get the quick stop to that position. Even. Wow. That's impressive. That's that quick stop.
<laughs> it sounds much more sensitive on the it throttle. Is. It's, it's like, twice as wow. You went to your right. Yeah, that was. Yeah, no, it's small. Sounded like a race. Now, bike. it definitely has got an exhaust leak. And that's yep, what yep, that, I that's, can hear that. that pop, you hear that pop yeah, when yeah. I let the throttle yes, go? Yes. That's that leak. That's just so the leak. You've got to fix that. Okay. When you ride it and you go into a corner and you take your throttle off, yeah, it'll pop off. You know, yeah. and but mm -hmm. easy to fix. Not a right. So wait for it. Just have it cool. Buy that stuff from um, Repco and pull the. So it's like a high temperature sealant, or yeah. And, and you know those yeah. grooves that you're talking about yeah, the leak. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, they need to be filled up yeah, with yeah. you know like leave the clamp on. Take the on the muffler. You'd leave the clamp on the muffler and smear it in there with your finger and make yeah. sure you fill the groove up. Yeah. And on the on the crossover, you'd leave the clamp on the crossover and pull the header out. Yeah. And do the crossover and then put it all together. Yep. Put a little bit of stuff on the pipe, put it together and leave it overnight. Yep. Clean all the stuff off. Yeah, 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 it'll actually come off the chrome quite easily. Yeah. And leave it overnight and trust me, it won't. Doesn't do that. No. So that even on the overrun everything, it just removes it'll the fix, bends. It'll fix it's it like you would glue. Nice. Now, the other thing I want to show you yes. and what I want you to listen for, because, you know, it's, it's a dinosaur as it. far as the cables go. So, so you need to, sooner or later, yeah. you're going to have to reset the sink on the carburetors. And people do it with gauges and they do it with all sorts of things. I mean the floats? The float no, sink? That, that's What's the that? way that the cables lift the carburetor. They lift the, the cable set up where it's pulling the two yeah. cables together. You, you do mean it so that the they're in sync? listening on there. And right. when you, you just, you need to listen to the cylinders and you'll hear them running evenly. So to set the, to set the idle, these here, these screws here, Yes. This one the idle, here yes, is a that's throttle the stop. That's so the, the stop. stop comes down and hits it. So never mind setting any of the cable stuff or the synchro. That doesn't matter in the beginning. So Do you what start I've done with is those off so that start, they're not doing You start anything? with those synchros. So I'm winding the synchro. I'm winding the throttle stops mm -hmm. in and out. Yeah. So and I'm listening to the pipes. Yes. And I'm getting them to fire evenly. So it's, so it doesn't matter. What one idle speed, will be so further long as up it's... than the other because that's just how it is. And even so, is absolutely even, or so is it a little bit? Well, you'll know. You'll if you back one off, you'll yeah. hear one of them isn't running. It's not. You can't. It's not firing. You'll right. hear this one firing. Pop, pop, pop. Yeah. This one's not. And then you'll bring this one up. Oh, yeah. there she comes. She's coming yeah. up. She's firing. Get them as even as you can. So and you can do that at any even. idle speed, and well, then you can it, well, after it, that you yeah, can drop yeah, it down. It's, well, yes, that sets the that's to get them even. It sets the idle speed. So you can have it up or down, yeah. but it sets them both even. So, so once you get them even, even, you can then, then adjust both when even. You do, then the next thing is you hold the throttle yeah. and you just crack it. And I'm talking five thou off yeah, yeah. the yeah, yeah. nothing. Just, yeah. just crack it. Yeah. And if you stand here and listen to it and yeah. you just crack it, if one is leading and lifting before the other one, you will hear that cylinder That'll fire. start running ahead of the other one and then right. the other one will come in and so that means that's one that's going early you either got to wind the other one up or wind that one down depending on where the adjusters are so i've changed the adjustment okay. the adjustment on this was so far out it was ridiculous yes, yes. it was like nearly six mil out yeah i knew when you went for a ride it was out because yeah, yeah. i could hear it yes but but i you know like i knew i'd make it right so okay. so so what, what i've done is i've set the two throttle stops so that the thing is idling evenly, evenly. at whatever RPM you want the idle at. I mean, yep. you might want it faster, you can bring it up if you want. Yep. You've got to just bring them up the same. Yeah. What do you usually aim for so that it stays? Yeah. I think well, I never want to I, risk. I set my bikes up so they're idling very slow, but I, I don't, I know when the thing's going to snuff out at the lights. That's what I don't want. I, I, I'm I, happy I to know, have it up. I know, I know when it's going to do it and I don't have a problem with the storm. Yeah. But if you're not used to riding one of these things, yeah. You probably should wind it up a bit yeah. because if it snuff, it snuffs itself out of the light. That's it's a nice. It is. For the average guy, it's it is. Yeah. I, mean, I can keep going. Yeah. So I don't mind up. having it up a bit. I'm not obsessed yeah, no, with the lower. We, we yeah. can wind it up a bit. Yeah. So, then, so then the throttle stops are done. Yes. And then you're going to do the synchro, the what they call the synchro on yeah. the cars. Yeah. And you see people doing all sorts of weird stuff with gauges and God knows what else and measuring the slides and all sorts of bullshit. Yeah. And it doesn't. I mean, you need to do it. But it's ears. basically that. When you just crack it on, you when pull you up the tension. On, each cylinder needs yeah. to be running exactly the same. Yeah. So you, and if it's not right, you will hear it. Yeah. It, 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 I mean, it was miles out when I was. Yeah, yeah. I could hear it when you got it but even. Now, I could hear it. that is why yeah. when you crack it, 
it's nice and crisp and you said oh, oh boy it sounds so that's responsive why. yeah that's why because yeah i've never heard it like that yeah Both i've never heard it like that that no. sounded great well it would have been when i ran <laughs> it in australia it would yeah. be like that but you okay. know you got new cables your carbon is yeah, yeah. you know you i yeah. can never set one up so that someone can take yeah. it away and put it in their bike yeah you know, because no. the throttles are all different. Yeah, but you've got to so fly over and do it. And, yeah. Well, that's why, that's, yeah. that's why we need to do some videos. That's so, great. Yeah, excellent. So, yeah. That's amazing. Well, that sounds it's, great. Um, and it's why I like to come mm. and look at the bike when it's mm. going. And I can't always do that. Yeah. But this has worked out good. Perfect. And um, and I, I just know that, you, honest, honest Rob, you will not believe how much better yeah. this thing is to ride. You yeah. go, wow. But yeah. It'll be the best you've ever ridden it. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. I guarantee it. <laughs> yes. Okay, that makes perfect sense. I'll stop this video. Thank you. Yeah, Brooke. So, there you Thank go. you for that. Thank Massive you. job.